Hi. It's Debbie again, and I'm back. I want to, um, now that the paint is dried, I'd like to show you kind of how I, how it came out. I kind of just put a little bit extra. And I want to talk about some possible um, precautions for the children. Because I was doing it, and I'm a grown-up, but if a child is doing it, it could become quite messy. When um, they squirt the paint um, on the plate, okay, uh, they need to be supervised not to put more than a two-inch blob uh, because the paint will run into each other and then the colors won't be bright, uh, the colors are, they're supposed to be. And then they need to, I mean, they don't necessarily need to use a smock, but it, it's recommended. Um, they could use an old t-shirt or something like that, but they should have something covering their clothes just in case they take the brush and while they're talking, they go like this and it gets on their clothes. And then when it's all finished, it's very easy to get paint on yourself if there's paint on the cardboard or the newspaper. So what I would recommend is that they roll up every, take everything off all together and then roll up everything. Take the cardboard like this and just kind of roll it up. Take the, the cardboard off of it, if it's okay, not full of paint, and just take the newspaper and just tell them to turn it over and bend it over like this and then roll it like this so that anything that has paint on it won't get on them, at least not too much. And it will be kind of like that, and you can bend it over like that, and then throw it in the garbage. And that's ba uh, basically that's the only precautions. Or um, you know, I don't I don't really think it's all the paint is non toxic. There's nothing really dangerous or sharp. But to avoid making a big mess, I would uh, I would do those steps. Okay, thank you.